If you've ever wondered what actually happens inside the body when AIDS develops, listen closely because this is one of the most dramatic battles in medical history. AIDS, or Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome, is the final stage of HIV infection, where the immune system collapses and even small infections turn life-threatening. It begins quietly. HIV enters the body, targets CD4 T cells, and hides inside them. Then it uses the cell S machinery to replicate itself again and again until the immune system slowly breaks down. As the CD4 count drops, the body starts showing warning signs. Persistent fever, rapid weight loss, chronic diarrhea, oral thrush, night sweats, cough, shortness of breath, these happen. Because the immune system can't fight even the simplest organisms. In AIDS, infections don't just appear. They take control. Inside the body, HIV attaches to CD4 receptors, inserts its genetic material, and turns the cell into a virus-producing factory. Over time, the viral load skyrockets. CD4 cells die faster than the body can replace them. When CD4 levels fall below 200, opportunistic infections like pneumocystis pneumonia, tuberculosis, candidiasis, and Kaposi sarcoma begin to invade. But here's the important part. AIDS is treatable, not curable, but treatable. Antirotroviral therapy, also known as ART, can suppress the virus, increase CD4 counts, and allow the immune system to fight back. With consistent medication, monitoring, and infection prevention, patients can live long, healthy lives. For nurses, the priority is monitoring symptoms, promoting adherence to ART, preventing infections, supporting nutrition, and providing strong emotional care. For doctors and students, understanding the progression from HIV to AIDS is essential for early diagnosis. Treatment and Prevention AIDS is not the end. It is a medical condition that can be controlled with knowledge, treatment, and timely care. If you want more quick medical breakdowns like this, stay tuned to Fahad, our nurse.